if access control and authorization decisions are hard coded in the application or in the system then when this authorization policy gets updated then it is very difficult to upgrade uh, the systems and applications in their conformance against this new authorization policy moreover it is also difficult to get visibility of these systems and application in their conformance to this new authorization policy and it is, it is difficult to audit uh, the authorization policies implementation on the systems and application keeping in view that the organization for advancement of structured information standard or oasis in 2003 define a language and a processing model for authorization policy at granular level and this is known as extensible access control markup language or zacml so zacml is also known as attribute based access control since it uh, decide the authorization decisions based upon the attributes of subjects objects and the environment moreover since it is an authorization policy language therefore it is also known as policy based access control a special implementation of zacml is also called role based access control however in role based access control the subjects are made part of a role and then this role is assigned permissions so zacml is more granular than role based access control since it also considers the attributes of subjects objects and environment so this user wants to access this resource so here uh, the policy enforcement point which is an a component of zacml comes into action and this is the main executor of uh, zacml so this access uh, request of a user is intercepted by this policy enforcement point so this policy enforcement point forward uh, this access request to policy decision point which is the evaluator of this access request by a user to a resource so policy enforcement point will convert the user access request in an zacml authorization request and forward it to policy decision point so policy decision uh, point uh, will approach the policy retriever point to retrieve uh, the policy from a database so this is uh, this policy retrieval point is a database of policies or authorization policies and this database is managed by policy administration point so then these authorization policies at this database of policy retrieval point are retrieved by policy decision point to make access control decision but before making an access control decision a policy decision point may need additional information with regards to attributes of subjects objects and environment and these attribute values are stored at policy information point so policy decision point may get these attribute values from policy information point and then the policy decision point will evaluate all the attributes and the policies and then will make access control decision and then communicate this access control decision to policy enforcement point so policy enforcement point after getting uh, the access approval from policy decision point will execute Uh, this approval and will grant user to access this particular resource now there are similar uh, protocols with regards to this zacml 
for example security assertion markup language which is a single sign on authentication uh, standard so zacml can be used in uh, conjunction with saml where saml will be used for authentication and it will be followed by zacml for authorization now oauth is also uh, defined by oasis and it is an access delegation protocol so using oauth a user can delegate his access to a resource to a third party so then third party on the behalf of this user can access this particular resource which was delegated to him by a user so oauth can be used in conjunction uh, with zacml where oauth will decide the access delegation and zacml will be used to decide a granular access or authorization policies so this is the alpha, uh, alpha or abbreviated language uh, for authorization so this is used in zacml to define access control policies this was all from my side please stay connected thank you